Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, what's up? My name is Vina Strick. Thank you so much for being here. So today I wanted to show you the perfect Thanksgiving glam. So this is what it looks like. I think it is awesome. I think it is very Thanksgiving-y. Um, I also think it looks really, really glam, but it's actually pretty easy to achieve. And I use some bomb products to show you guys. So I really hope that y'all enjoy this video. And if you do enjoy this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join my squad. Let's get into it. So today to prime the face, I'm actually gonna be using an oldie but a goodie because since it is getting a lot colder, it's actually freezing in Houston right now, I'm gonna be using more of a moisturizer primer. So this is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glotion and I do have the shade 903 Medium. I used to use this like every day and I just stopped for some reason. So this is what it looks like. It looks like a very glowy moisturizer with a little bit of a tint but the tint goes away once you blend it out. And I like it because it gives me a glow and it also really moisturizes. So while we let that kind of set a little bit, I'm gonna start out with my brows. You guys know I like to go in with Benefit Gimme Brow in the shade 4.5. And I like to fill my eyebrows in, let them dry, and then fill it in with, um... man, I've had a long day today. Um, pomade. So I really enjoy doing this because you end up using less product than if you filled in your eyebrows with either powder or pomade first and then you used a tinted brow gel because really this fills it in like 90%. All right, so we are gonna do the base first. If you watch me, you know that I've been loving the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover. This has been my go-to everyday foundation, but when I wanna look a little extra glam, I do like to go in with the Pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Foundation and just add a little bit on there. This is a very, very highly pigmented matte foundation and it is really, really good. So mixing these makes like the perfect glam combo. And if you're wondering for the Maybelline one, I do have the shade 228 Soft Tan and the Pure Cosmetics one is TG3. So I like to go in just straight from the bottle. I'll do really thin lines, mainly in the center of my face. And then the, the pure one, I take it more down here because I have a little bit of discoloration over here. It gives it more coverage. And another reason why I like to add this one at the end of the face is because I don't like to add too much product around my mouth because my smile lines crease like a mofo. So I'm gonna use two concealers because um, I've been trying not to use too much of a heavy concealer, but I still want the full coverage. I know it doesn't make sense whatsoever, but I'm gonna be using the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Medium, as well as the L'Oreal Infallible Wear. And it actually works out because the L'Oreal one, by the way, this is in the shade Cashew. This one has a little bit more of a yellow tint. Where is my sponge? Where is my sponge? Um. I found it, it's right there. It's from Amazon, it's really, really inexpensive. And the more you use it, the softer it gets, which is really cool. Um, if you're interested, I do have a video of Amazon beauty products that you need. Um, definitely check it out if you're interested. All right, and to set all this in place, I will be using the best powder in the world. This is the Haley's Beauty retouch perfecting loose powder and this is a filter on your face the cool thing about this powder too is that you can get it at target so you can get it at the drugstore and i don't really use that much product and i mean it's gonna last me forever which is really nice because it literally just makes your skin look so smooth like look at this honestly after using this powder i don't think i'll ever use another powder again unless it's like just as good but I think it'll be hard to find a powder that I like more than this one. To contour, I've been loving this. I know that you guys used to see me use the Wet n Wild Contour Palette in Dulce de Leche a lot, but I've actually been using this shade, which is, what shade is this? This is Caramel Toffee. You can go in with a light hand. It doesn't have to be so intense, but 
I've really been liking it ever since I did a video with it. It's really intense. Okay, I need to relax. And then since we are gonna go eat our weight in desserts and turkey, we should probably chisel out the jawline so that if we do eat a lot, we still look snatched. So for bronzer per usual, I'm just obsessed with the Benefit Hula Caramel. It is so, so nice. And I've started using the Hula bronzer brush and it actually works really well together because this is actually really, really pigmented and sometimes it can go on too pigmented, but this brush is so like soft and it just picks it up like the perfect way to, like it really is a really good brush for it. And it's also really cute. And then I can't go without putting a sheen on my bronzer. I'm actually gonna be using the Rach Loves um, collaboration with Pixie. It's a highlighter palette and it's really, really nice. These highlighters are like really pigmented, but there's a shade called Knit, which is this one. And it's a really, really dark highlighter. And that's what I like doing. I like using very dark highlighter and putting it on my bronzer because that way you already have a glow before putting on um, highlighter. And I feel like it just looks like an overall glow rather than just a line of glow. So I really, really enjoy doing this. Ah! I'm a mess. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I've had kind of a rough day today. <sighs> it's not been the best. And you know when like you have a rough day, everything kind of just goes wrong. It's kind of been happening, um, but I didn't want to not film because usually when I film, I do get in a better mood because I obviously love talking to you guys. So I'm glad that I filmed because um, if I didn't, I would have been sad and not productive. Let me just go ahead and finish my eyebrows and then we can move on to eyeshadow and finish the rest of the face. Do you guys know, I really haven't changed my routine whatsoever. So first I'm gonna go in with the Benefit Kev Brow. It is just a brow pomade and I use the shade 4.5. And then I go in with a foolproof brow powder in the shade five and I just finish it off. On the daily, I usually only wear tinted brow gel, but since we are putting on foundation and all of this, I really wanna make them stand out, especially because we are doing eyeshadow. So I do like to go in with these two products. Um, if you guys have noticed, they've been my holy grail. And then you don't need to go in with a powder, but I just, I just have this thing that when I use pomade, I like to set it with a powder. It just makes it like bulletproof. And the foolproof powder actually comes with a tiny little sponge. And all I do is mainly just set the outer half of my brows because that's where I want them to be darker and I also have less hair there. Alrighty guys, so let's move on to eyeshadow. So for the eyeshadow and the rest of the face, I actually have a really cool product. As most of you guys know, I am a Deck of Scarlet partner, so they are sponsoring this part of the video because I will be showing you guys their November box. Just a little reminder, Deck of Scarlet comes out with a monthly box with face palettes or kits, and sometimes they collaborate with YouTubers to become their artist in chief. So the full size palettes and kits that you do get monthly only cost $29. And 95. So the artist in chief this month is Kate Mark. So congratulations to her for collaborating with a deck of Scarlet. It's really great because it literally gives you a full face palette. It has eyeshadows, a blush, a highlighter, and two lip products. And this month also came with a mascara. This mascara is called the Triple Threat Conditioning Mascara in the shade Black Silk. By the way, Deck of Scarlet is cruelty-free, paraben-free, and vegan. We do have shipping to the US, Canada, and the UK, and shipping is free for the US. So let me show you guys the shades in this palette because they are freaking amazing. So first we have the shade Tamarind, and this is so, so beautiful. It's literally just like a burnished copper, and it is a metallic finish. Then we have the shade Turmeric, which is just like a really very vibrant gold. It is a foil finish. We have the shade Ginger, and this is a matte shade, and it is more like a golden honey shade. It almost matches the sweater that I'm wearing. The highlighter is called Clove, and this is a very rich bronze shade, and it is very metallic. The blush, we have Saffron, which is a poppy orange. It is a matte finish, extremely pigmented. For the lips, we do have the shade Paprika, and this is a very like corally red, and it is a cream finish. Again, super pigmented. 
good. And then we have the shade Chili, which is a spiced warm brown, and it is also a cream finish. I'm gonna start out with ginger on my crease. It literally matches my sweater, and I love that. I wanna take this from inner to outer corner because I think I am gonna end up doing like a very soft halo look. I'm gonna go in with the shade Tamarind, and I'm gonna wet my brush because I love doing that with any shimmer shade. It gives you the best, most metallic opacity. So I'm gonna, wow, this is so beautiful. So I'm gonna bring that from inner to outer corner, and I'm only doing it on my lid. All right, and then I'm actually gonna blend out the harsh edges with ginger again, but I'm also gonna take the blush saffron. And I'm just blending the crease. I'm not going over the crease. I'm not going over the shade ginger by itself. I'm just doing it right under. All right, and then to blend that out, I'm just gonna go back in with a fluffy brush with just ginger just to diffuse it. And just going in with my finger, I'm gonna get the highlighter shade, which is Clove, and I'm just gonna pop that in the middle of my lid. It's not difficult or anything. You just kind of pop it on, and it gives you a bit of a highlight, and it really accentuates the eyelid, which sounds so weird, but it just gives it some more dimension. See the difference? Makes your eyes look bigger too. Okay, now I'm gonna go back with ginger and saffron and I'm just gonna blend that out on my lower lash line. And to highlight the inner corner, I'm actually going to use the turmeric shade. Um, it is kind of like a pop of color, but it's a pop of color that isn't too scary and it kind of goes with the holiday. This shade is literally so pigmented. So I'm gonna go kind of light with it because it, it really is so pigmented and I don't wanna to do too, too much here. All right, and then for blush, again, I'm using the blush in the palette, Saffron. It is super pigmented, so definitely give it a good shake, and I'm just going to apply it. And the cool thing about it is that this is actually gonna match my eyeshadow because we used it for our eyeshadow, so it'll look almost monochromatic. And then for highlight, we're using Clove. This is so metallic and beautiful. And remember, if this is too dark for you to use, you can always use it as an eyeshadow because it really is super metallic. Okay, so I popped in some eyeliner and now we're gonna use the mascara. So I am gonna put on some falsies, but um, I wanna show you guys how this mascara works on its own. So I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes like always. I'm actually just gonna do one coat since I am gonna put on fake lashes. This mascara does not clump, smudge, or flake. It is a very lightweight texture, it's not sticky, and the formula contains actives that nourish, moisturize, and soothe the lashes. So this is one coat, like one light coat, and you can see the difference. This actually is so, so nice. Okay, so while I let these lashes dry, since I am gonna put on falsies, let's go ahead and finish the lips. I think I'm gonna do the brown shade, just because I just prefer a brown lip. This brown one is just calling my name, and I think I'm gonna make it matte. I can show you guys a little trick to make your um, lipsticks matte. So I'm gonna line my lips with the Maybelline Color Sensational Liner in the shade Rich Chocolate. And I'm gonna apply it with a brush. Just because it is a dark shade, you could always use your finger, but I have a lot of brushes. This is so pigmented. I like barely put on any on this little brush. Ooh, I love this shade. Wow, I love this lip color. It just made me look so much more glam. And all you need to do to make a lipstick matte is just take some translucent powder and tap it on top. I really love how this look turned out. I do have a coupon code for you guys. Um, I don't get paid for the coupon code, it's just for you guys. So you can use the code Bazaar for 30% off your first month, which could be this palette if you want it. And I'll also leave it down below and linked if you are interested. I'm gonna go ahead and put on some lashes. So I'm actually gonna be using my lashes with Delarza Cosmetics in the style Princessa, and I will be right back. I just wanted to show you guys the difference that these lash make. These are literally so amazing, and I know that they're mine, but I 
I think they're amazing, obviously, because I created them. But if you want to get your hands on these lashes, I will link them down below. And you can use my code VS10 for 10% off. So, guys, this is the final result. I... Let me fix the hair so I look even better. I love it. I think this is, like, the perfect glam that looks glam but as you guys could see it was very very easy to achieve the pop of color makes you look like you're really good at makeup and you can like experiment but it's really just so so simple and the lip makes it more glam um i just love it i really think um i really think that the look turned out really really good so i really hope that you guys appreciate it i hope that you go show up your cousins in this makeup look um and i hope that you guys can find a lot of things to be thankful for. Um, I know I was telling you guys I was having a rough day, but like always filming made me feel better. So I just wanna let you guys know I'm so thankful for you. I'm thankful for YouTube. I'm just thankful for the community that we have here. Um, it always brightens my day. So I'm very thankful for you guys. I love you guys so, so, so much. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.